Hey there, Joel here and welcome to my channel Math World. Today we are going to learn another proof from the chapter triangles and this is the third proof that we are learning. If you have not watched the videos for the other proofs then please go ahead check in the description box. I've put down the links of the other two proofs. Go ahead and watch them. So today we are going to learn about Pythagoras theorem. Now I'm sure in the 7th standard you must have heard something about Pythagoras theorem. If not, let us understand what exactly it is. So he said that if you have a right angle triangle, okay, so let me give them names as RXB and note that RB is the hypotenuse of the triangle. Now, how do I identify the hypotenuse? It is very simple. First, locate which is the angle, which is 90 degrees and exactly opposite to that is my hypotenuse. So here, my hypotenuse is RB. RX and XB are some other sides. Okay, so I'll give them some measurements also. So RB is 5, RX is 3 and XB is 4. So Pythagoras said in a right angle triangle the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the square of the other two sides. Okay now here my hypotenuse is RB so square of that will be so I have written the statement first whatever the entire sentence that is there is written in form of this symbol so RB is equal to rx square plus xb square so 5 into 5 will become 25 rx is 3 so 3 square is 9 plus xb is 4 4 square is 16 if you look left hand side is 25 as it is right hand side will become 9 plus 16 which is equal to 25 so this is the basic idea of the proof now when we are proving it let us understand how the question can be asked. So, question is, given in triangle ABC, angle B is 90 degrees, BD is perpendicular to AC, prove that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So, my triangle over here is ABC, B is 90, so I have marked it over there. There is a line BD which is perpendicular to AC. So from D, there is a line which is perpendicular. Now we are asked to prove that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So in the first case, what we are supposed to do is we will consider this triangle ADB, the orange triangle, and triangle ABC. So I've considered, remember them, I'll write it down also for you. So in triangle ADB and ABC. Now in these two triangles, if you notice, A is a common point, which means angle A is common for both these triangles. So I can write angle A is equal to angle A. What will be the reason? Same angle. Second, we can write that these orange marks that you can see now at B and at D. Now in triangle ABC angle B is 90 and in triangle ADB D is 90. So I can write ADB is equal to ABC. Reason is each is right angle. So in the video for criteria of similar triangles we have seen three different criteria, and that is angle 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 similarity test side 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 similarity test and sas similarity test so in this case we are satisfying the criteria for aa similarity test so i can write triangle a d b is similar to triangle a b c and the reason would be AA similarity test. 
Now, if the triangles are similar, the corresponding sides for those two triangles are equal, the ratios of them. So, I can write AD upon AB is equal to AB upon AC. Now, you will ask me if or you can comment in the comment box that the triangles have three sides then why am i taking ratios only of two sides that is because in this proof we are required now if you look at what are we asked to prove we are asked ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square right so in this ratio that we have written can you see the denominator in the fourth step ab and the ratio on the other side right hand side ab so when you multiply ab and ab it would become ab square if you take any other the third ratio for third corresponding side then this will not be satisfied so we have taken only two ratios of corresponding sides so this would become in the fifth step all of, that we are doing is cross multiplying so ad multiplied by ac is equal to ab into ab which is becoming a ac sorry ab square reason would be step number four then this is the first main part for this entire proof second what we are going to write it similarly we will say that triangle c d b now we can see the orange triangle over here and triangle c b a both of these are also similar the same way whatever we have done step number one to five can be written for this triangles also i don't want to waste time writing all the steps and so do you so all you have to do is write the word similarly these triangles c d b is similar to c b a now if these two triangles are similar Definitely their corresponding sides or the ratios will also be equal and those will be over here that is CD upon CB is equal to CB upon CA. Now in case if you are having difficulty in writing these ratios then please reply in the comment section and I would be happy to make another video teaching you how to go about writing these corresponding sites so do comment and let me know okay so the ratios will become cd upon cb is equal to cb upon ca in the eighth step what we have done is cross multiplied so cd multiplied by ca is equal to cb into cb which is cb square another point to keep in mind is please avoid writing a multiplication sign when you're writing sides because if you write cd multiply instead of dot if you write an x then it will become cdx so which can be a little complicating so just put a dot when you are multiplying sides like this okay so this is from the step number seven then now what we are doing is we are adding step number five and step number eight so what will happen is the left hand sides are added so ad dot ac or ad multiplied by ac plus cd dot ca okay left hand side is added and similarly right hand side also so ab square plus cb square you can also write it as bc square now in this left hand side i see that ac and ca both of them are same so ac and ac is common so all i will do is write ac outside the bracket and whatever is not common that is ad and cd i have written inside the bracket okay now if you notice in the figure ad and dc if you add it up together the entire side that is nothing but the length AC here I've written written AC in yellow color and you can see it in the figure as well that entire line AC is AD plus DC is AC so that bracket is replaced with AC so AC multiplied by AC will become AC square so AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square 
which is what we are asked to prove and that's it for the entire proof so first we have considered the triangle ADB and the entire triangle ABC we write we prove them similar we write the ratios we cross multiply next step we say similarly I can okay so next step we say that CDB is similar to and the entire triangle ABC we write the ratios then we add whatever we had cross multiplied we take common and that's how we get the entire proof now why am I telling you these main step is because when you are learning and this question you're practicing I want you to remember these steps if you don't remember them you will end up writing and writing and practicing the entire proof I've told this in the previous videos also learn the main steps what exactly you have to do and automatically things will follow okay so that's it for the entire proof and I hope you have understood this Pythagoras theorem and if you did then please don't forget to like share the video with your friends subscribe to the channel for note and activate the notification so that you can you know check out all the videos and you not miss out anything and follow math world that's it for now thank you and bye bye